Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to Art Incorporated. Um, today we are going to be doing a painting with feathers. So a long time ago people used to use feathers to write letters, draw, um, do paintings, all that kind of stuff. So today we're going to take that challenge and try to do it today. So for this activity you will need feathers, some paints, a piece of paper, and I find on a tray to contain my mess a little bit. So what you're going to try to do is you're going to try to use the tips of the feathers first. So I want you to take a look at your feather. So there is the bottom tip that we're going to be using to try and draw a picture. There is the long blade of the feather. And I want you to feel what it feels like when you go one way, and then what does it feel like when you push your finger the other way on the feather. Is it soft? Is it rough? Is it smooth? I want you to tell me. What do you think? Okay, so our feather is ready, I think. So for mine, I'm going to make sure I have a good end on mine. Mine actually is a little bit split, but I think it'll still be okay. So I'm going to take off the lid of my paint. And I want to dip just the very bottom, just the little tip part of the feather. So I have a little bit of paint on there, and I'm going to try and draw a sunshine with the sun. Let's see. It's a little bit difficult, actually. And it needs a lot more paint than you would think. And you won't have to do a song with me. You can do whatever you would like. I want you to first try doing it with the tip of the feather. We are lucky because nowadays we don't have to use things like this. We can use markers or crayons, even colored pencils. to try to use the other parts of the feather. So I'm going to try and use this middle part of my feather. I'm going to put a little bit of paint on it with a paintbrush. And then I'm going to smooth it onto my paper and see what happens. Got to be very, very gentle with this middle part of it. But then I'm going to lay it flat on the paper. Here's my son. 
sunshine. So I think learning how to use different materials to do paintings is a lot of fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson today. If you did it along with me, please leave a video or a comment or a picture down below to let us know that you're keeping up with these videos. Um, otherwise, we will see you again soon. Bye!